let us look at a biaxial state of stress. An example of this is I apply stresses of this nature. Okay, that is the shear stress is zero. I apply some stress in the x direction, I apply some stress in the y direction and I am looking at what is the most circle for this stress state. The most circle for this stress state would be sigma of n, tau of n. So, that will be the most circle for this stress state wherein if you assume, let us assume sigma x x is greater than sigma y y for argument sake. So, this will be sigma x x and this will be sigma y y. The shear stresses are 0, so those will be the principal stresses or the extremum normal stresses that the stress state can see. Okay. Now, what will be the maximum shear stress? The maximum shear stress would be this line. That line which will be having a radius of sigma x x minus sigma y y by 2 and this point is sigma x x plus sigma y y by 2. Okay. So, basically that is the shear maximum shear stress in this and the extreme normal stress are sigma x x and sigma y y. If I were to write the stress tensor for this would be sigma x x 0 0 0 sigma y y 0 0 0 0. Uniaxial and biaxial state of stress is a state of stress in which you do experiments on different materials. Okay. The most common test is a uniaxial test wherein you pull the materials and you see how it what is the strain that it comes about and to develop constellations based on the stress and the strain that is measured. Okay. The final state of stress that we want to look up is what is called as a plane stress. Now, what is a plane stress? We have seen that uh, this is an example of a plane stress, right? Where in one row and one column was zero, is what we said was a plane stress. But that is not absolutely correct definition for a plane stress, because just like we saw uniaxial state of stress sigma 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0, 0 can be represented as sigma by 2 sigma by 2 0 sigma by 2 sigma by 2 0 0 0 0 the same stress state can be represented as sigma by 3, sigma by 3, sigma by 3. By this matrix also, this also represents the inertial stress tensor matrix. Just that you are rotating it about an inclined angle not about the z axis, but an equally inclined angle to the x, y and z axis. Okay. So, the right way to check whether a given state of stress is plane or not is to find determinant of sigma. If it is 0, then it is called as if determinant of sigma is 0, then the stress state is called plane stress. Okay. Just like pure shear you want the trace of sigma to be 0 that is pure shear right okay. because you do not want normal stresses pure shear state of stress can be 
one def, one way of looking at pure shear is if trace of sigma matrix is zero then it is called as pure shear state of stress okay so these are invariant definitions of these stress now let's look at what invariance of the stress mean 